I want to get another fisherman in here, I think. We are going to be all right. Uh, the quick math is that it's actually, we were actually at 75, 75 deficit, but we had 80, whatever that was, 84, something like that. So we should be good, but, well, there's no limit on the two copper bars, actually. We've made it enough. So we should be good. Yeah, never mind. We're, we're fine. We're fine. No mad rush to make fishermen. We do have a 42 surplus in cold every turn. And I'm not even sure if we're... Do we have another cold event coming up? Oh, we do. Okay. So it won't hurt to have our people working on that for the time being. There's an omen coming, which is a bad thing. And then we'll have the season... Oh, no, the season change. Temperature is bound to change. And that means that we'll be in autumn, right? Which is then... Uh, heat will be the requirement. So let's take our watchers out. They don't need to be doing that for now. Who else do we have? The, the pools down here. Okay, well, we can certainly generate enough cold if need be. I am concerned about the heat we can generate, but that's what the cloak craft workshop is for. We are currently researching that and we'll be gaining plus four for each dwelling within one and it requires a heat maker within one. So we could have three dwellings around it on top of the heat maker. Where would we put that? Over here, maybe? Kind of near the rocks. One, two, three. I might put it here and then remove the carrot field. And so we would have one dwelling here, one dwelling here, one dwelling here, and then a heat maker on the side. And that heat maker is just whatever we want, really. So the cloak craft workshop it would take some planks to build. We may as well get going on the planks. We do have some time until this is actually finished being researched, but we're also getting close to maxing out on planks anyway. So uh, maxing out on wood. So we may as well start producing those ahead of time. And then the fabric, which we have someone working on. Where did that go? It's right here. This guy's turning hemp into fabric. Perfect. Yeah, it feels pretty good having a lot of hemp and being able to use it for the leather and fabric and so on. Find on the advanced tools. So should I build... I'll build another one of these fancy cottages. Where's Wall's housing? Build one of those right here. Oh. Can I not? Do I have to put the co I'm pretty sure I can just place it, right? I have to put the cobblestone first? Okay. Oh, to the towns. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's fine. We'll put the cobblestone path down ahead of time. And then I think I'll also put it here and here. Yeah. And if somebody wants to go harvest these carrots, we're going to be getting rid of them at some point. So may as well use up what we've grown. I don't think we have any spaces to grow more babies at the moment, so we should probably upgrade the tent. So let's upgrade the tent that's damaged. Oh. Oh, I'm out of leather. I'm out of leather, but we can't afford this one, so we'll upgrade that and then get somebody working on the leather and the pea scent. I don't need to work in this pea scent as well. That'll be fine. Uh, that is something interesting, is we can generate four hope there as well. Oh, thinkers. No druid available. I did remove a druid. I guess that was maybe a bad idea. But we needed the job. One handyman available. Kamopo. I'd rather hold on to them as a spare worker. We have bakers available? I mean, why are we not making bread? Okay. Let's make some bread. We have two bakers. And then this person can come here and repair this. Uh, let's repair this one first. Oh, yeah, that consumes stone. Right. Oh, well. All right, all right. Enough planning. Let's go. Making leather. Putting down a lot of rocky roads. Now we're doing well on hope. Oh, I can't see the number. Hang on. 216 surplus hope. No concerns there at all. So people are walking over here. What are they doing? Oh, a rabbit is joined in the fun. Handsome? Who's that? Handsome Pip. Tisso. Well, let's see what that does. Handsome is a new quirk. Um, I don't know which one Tisso is. Also, how do they just suddenly gain that perk? Unless that was a child growing up. Maybe there's a child that grew up and was became handsome. 
Uh, is there a way to check oh, an ailment? Classes, animals. Huh. That's okay. We won't worry about it. I have... What is this? You will lose water. That's alright. That's fine. We'll have a couple people make a baby. Somebody build us a cottage. Wait, why not? Old super Oh, requires leisure. Right! I forgot about that. That's why I wasn't letting us build it. Okay, we'll put the cabin there. Yep. That'll enhance the efficiency of the doctor. We are out of ointments. Actually, maybe we should start working on that. No, because we need that person working on the nature. Right. Okay. Let's put ourselves... Build ourselves a large tent here. I don't have enough... Not enough leather. But they'll work on that when they can. And we can harvest some more plants. Also plant some more plants. Hold on. Barley. Right there. And some hemp. Regrow that. Plant some more... Hmm... We want to plant more hemp or more barley? Let's plant more hemp. Barley doesn't get used up very quickly. Oh, there we go. Made a child. Very good. And tomorrow we should have the cloak craft workshop unlocked so we can start building that down here. Oh, actually, we can't start building it because we haven't finished harvesting these carrots. I think it's time to just just destroy this carrots. Yeah, dismantle those, please. This house, I don't think we need a house here. Let's clear this up, too. And then we'll plant some more carrots over there. And we can have some people work on carrot gathering. That should be good. One person. Oh, I guess we want, yeah, we wanted that other tent. We want another tent down here as well. No workers available. Oh. Our doctor's not doing anything. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll leave that as is. There's no rush on the tents either. Okay, cloak craft workshop complete. Perfect. And what else do we have for temperature? Past the cloak craft workshop, we have the hearth. Plus five for each bourgeois housing within one. Plus ten if a brick paving path to the town center. You know what? I that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna stick with the cloak craft workshop. I mean this thing is pretty darn strong. But we'll be fine with this. I wonder if we could even double up. We might need to double up on that. Cloak maker, plus two for each dwelling within one. So we're just straight up better. This is just straight up better. And then the large bonfire only produces four heat per person per worker. But it is pretty cheap. So we might just throw down some bonfires to deal with extra heat requirements. Festivals and stuff. I wonder if we should upgrade our hope production. I mean, we have up two performer stalls and that's pretty much it. What else could we do here? Graves, I'm not going to worry about. We're not going to have anyone die. Festival. Plus two if a social building is within two. Plus ten if an active social building is within one. That's pretty cool. And it heals rebellious pips with elaborate food. We have some of that. Elaborate food could be the soft bread that we're making. Animal theater. Plus five for each animal train within one. Oh. That's kind of neat. And plus ten if a herding building is within two. We could... We could do that. So that stands to gain us... I mean, if we have three animals together, then we want to put a research thing there. But if we're going to use two animals together for this, we would be gaining and build a herding. Then we would be gaining... Um, Plus 20, and then plus 5 if a brick paving path to the dwelling. So this is a total of 30 per worker. This thing, however, the festival doesn't require a special bourgeois person. Oh, it does require beer for it to be very effective. Ah, oh, I don't have that. Two soft bread produces four hope. It's not a great exchange rate. But then we do get the plus 10 if there's an active social building, so... This would be a total of plus 12, so 16 hope for one person trading in two foods. That's pretty good. That's a good deal. This one costs a bourgeois person, which means that we are spending one soft bread on feeding the bourgeois person. So you can subtract that from the cost here for the cost difference. But that takes a book and special herbs. 
Yeah, I think we'll go for the festival instead. Also, maybe the upgrade down here is something we'll use. All right, festival upgrade. That will take a little while. And we should get going on the heat construction cloak craft workshop. I'm putting that down here. Why am I not allowed? We have the planks, we have the stone. What am I missing? Requires a heat maker with them. Oh yeah, yeah, we have to place the heat maker. Sure. We'll put a large bonfire. Actually, should we even use a large bonfire? Sure, just in case. Takes up the same amount of space. Okay, cloak craft workshop. Now we can place this. And we have nobody available to work. Here, let's take one of these guys out. Somebody work on that tent. Somebody work on that. And one of the jobs are not needed. Seed gathering. Yeah, we can take the seed gatherer out for now. I would like you to build us another tent. Yeah. Not enough leather. Never mind. Go back to gathering seeds. Thank you. So... Okay. So we have 100% on this. Very good. Yeah, the cataclysm ramps up very quickly. Oh, a cat. Do we have ourselves a pet? Pips have found a cat. Can we keep it? We'll name them Lava. Don't we have a person named Lava? One cat pip is welcomed, or kill it, and we gain 29 raw Wait, meat. No, we will welcome it. That's a ton of meat from the one cat. Holy cow. Yeah, we get one cat pip. I don't know what that does for us, but obviously we'd rather welcome it to our society. Our little village here. Pets, VIP, and choice. All right. Uh, somebody, we don't have the leather for that just yet. That's okay, we'll wait on it. it. Takes four days to construct this anyways, so there's no hurry. Mm, is this person homeless? Not. No. They're just a commoner. Oh, they probably just grew up. A uh, farmer could go harvest barley, could go harvest hemp. Let's go harvest the hemp first. There you go. And we do have this hope event happening. We have a ton of surplus, so no worries there. Okay. How are we doing on copper bars? I just had that pop into my mind. Do I have two miners going with the copper? Alright. Vava thinks they should not stay with the commoners and should instead be given a class promotion. Should we allow that? One commoner pip gains the bourgeois class. I don't really know what the point of this is. It just sort of skips the training time? I, I don't know why you'd want to do this because it's so easy to train them anyway. Or we gain 39 hope. I think I would prefer to just gain 39 hope. Politely refuse. No, Vava, you're not better than us. But he gains his hope. <laughs> Which helps. Alright. Refused promotion. And we have enough leather now. Looks like somebody's working on this. I think they automatically not enough leather oh never mind we do not have enough leather tomorrow tomorrow or the day after i'm not sure i have yeah we're producing two copper per day which is excellent we're only consuming one copper right now given we have another handyman i think i would like to improve our nature production We could even remove... No, we want to keep the herbalist there because they can be used for making medicine as well. Speaking of which, we should probably make some medicine. Okay. Let's have a look. Where's the handyman? Canopo. Vava's busy doing something. Let's train you as a fisherman. And then that will boost this production as well. Should be a big deal. The heat. 
heat is rising, but that's not going to matter because the season is going to change before we get an event anyways. An omen is arriving, so people might end up being sick very soon. Yeah, let's get this guy out. Put them in here instead. And then two more people. You guys can make a baby. Not enough free pips. Two needed. One of them is bourgeois, so they won't make a baby. All right, then. Wow. How rude. Let's take someone out of stone cutting. 16 stone. We're doing pretty well on that. Let's take one person out of stone cutting. A pippin is... Oh. All right. Go make a baby there instead. Yeah, we'll see what the sickness event is from the omen. I mean, if our pips get sick, it doesn't stop them from working, so that's nice. Oh, there you go. They are indeed sick. I hope there's not too many people. Okay, three people, not terrible. That's, that's pretty fine. And we can heal it. Thank goodness. Where do we heal sickness? I forget. Oh. She sees an omen arriving. And the temperature's still going up. We're still working on the nature stuff. Hold on. That's 10 for that one. What were the requirements for this water shrine? Oh, this it's just 10. That's straight up all it is. Okay. But this thing will be at 9, which is pretty good. So we'll have... 10, 9, 10, so 29 production is pretty nice, and then we can also boost it some more over here with another 9. Not terrible. I would like to plant some more carrots. Let's put some in the ground right there. The farmer, yeah, we can have the farmer work on something. Wait, we'll plant that. Have the farmer, no farmer available? What is the farmer doing? The farmer's sick. Oh! He's harvesting crops over here. I didn't even know we had some there. I think, actually, uh, well, yeah, no, that's fine. Keep harvesting that. That's all good. We need to heal some sick people. Cure poisoned. Cure injured. Oh, what did I just click? Nope. Don't bother with that. No curing. Cure sick. Okay. No healer available. Where is our healer? I don't think that's this person. Let's check, though. Okay, somebody's working there now. And if we go to ailments. Ailments, sick people. Dibala, stop thinking for a moment. How many pe how many sick people does this heal? Is it two or it's two? So, oh, I just clicked something again. Get the doctor out there. Tella. What is Tella up to? Doesn't look, look like Tella's doing anything. So let's try curing the sick. See if two people come over here. There's one, the shaman is shepherding them along. And there's Tella. Alright, very good. We'll get two of our people unsickened. And... And then I think we'll be good to go? Also, we're gaining 16 hope somehow. Six from each of these. Oh, the cat itself is giving us hope. That's awesome. Oh, well, I'm very glad we accepted it. Oh, actually, I guess they're doing stuff. Oh, yeah, they're healing. We are going down on soft bread a little bit. But that's okay. We're gaining a ton of flour. Oh, I have a guy working on creating heat for some reason. Get him out of that. Instead, we'll have someone build that dwelling. One more day from now, and this will be made, and then we can train somebody to make cloaks for us. That will be a big help. And... what? There's another sick person. Where are they? Ah. Demma, the, the forge person. Let's heal them. Not enough infusion. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind, Demma. You have to work another day while sick. And the researcher can go back to doing their thing. We had three, three, three... It doesn't really matter where they're researching. They have a couple of spots available because we have one for your researchers, then people, then uh, then places for researchers. 
I guess we can make more kids. Is this... Yeah, this pip has grown up. Perfect. And then this tent will be going up and we can make another pip over there. Yeah. Alright, let's harvest more carrots. Yeah, it's interesting. I guess if there were a cataclysm event coming up and we were in a mad rush for nature, we could just plant carrots all over the place. Pull everybody out of jobs because it would be we would have five days for it to happen and the carrots would grow in five days. So we could pull everybody out of jobs and any clear space just grow carrots in it. And that would gain us a bunch of nature and then it would help. Hopefully we don't get into a situation where we do need to do that, but you never know. It could very well happen. Now this thing would generate 17 heat, which is quite a bit. That's really good. And we have four from the bonfires. We have a few of those bonfires. So I'm not too worried. Actually, we are running out of wood. Hang on. Let's put them back into the wood place. I... Wait, we have a fabric maker here. Should we train another fabric? Another artisan. Well, hang on, is an artisan a bourgeois person? No handyman available. Jobs. Vama and Vava. Vava, can you train as an artisan? Okay, you can. Good. Then someone else can do the planting. And also, sick person. There you go. Let's heal them now. Cure the sick. Good. One more person. Where's our farmer at? Still know me. He's doing the hemp. We have 105 of it. We'll just plant some more over here. Oh, we can plant these as well. That's pretty cool. He's rolling around doing his stuff. Kind of automated. I might build a house over here as well, just to get that one little bit of extra land. I think we'll need more housing. Although upgrading houses is still an option for us. Overpopulation. Your village is too large. Oh no. Your village has become too large. All right, I guess we're not building more houses. With such a high pip density, everything inside the village becomes a bit harder. Fear rises as pips feel there are too many names to remember. Sickness travels more easily, and all those pips running around increase heat and cataclysm, making the ground shake. Cold will be unaffected. So maybe let's hold off on making more babies. Hard. What is this hard? So 30 pips, zero bad. 31 pips, one bad. All right, so we want to stay below 30 pips. All right, then. Festival. How many pips do we have? We have a total of 30. And that does include our Pippins. So no more making babies. That's it. I see we have the... Oh, wait, hold on. The pub. So we, we just unlocked the festival. We could build that and make use of it. The pub costs planks to build. Oh, and it turns beer into hope. Well, this is kind of cool. Plus 10 if a social building is within 2, plus 10 for each dwelling within 1. Oh my, that could get to be a huge amount of hope. Alright, the reason I was against getting the beer is just because... Uh, sorry, cultivation here. Wait a second, where is it? Oh, it's all the way down here. The still. Plus 1 if a fruit maker is within 2. And a cobblestone path for dwelling. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. There are fruit makers around. There's no reason we couldn't do this. It turned. Oh, that's what it was. Is we have to gather the fruit. We're not gathering a whole lot of fruit. Four fruit becomes one alcohol, one beer. And we have a very limited supply of fruit. I know we could research how to plant orange trees as well. That was an option. But how many trees are we really going to plant realistically? Requires woods, times two during sun events, but it's only during spring and summer. We're almost out of summer, so going for the beer doesn't make sense right now, and I don't think it'll make sense in the future either. Oh, and the orange trees are specifically during the summer. So we would have to stockpile a ton of fruit to maintain the beer. It's probably doable. Maybe we'll do that in a future run, where I, I'm actually more aware of what we can do with that. Like, the fact that you can gain this much hope from it is incredible because that's each dwelling within one we could have four so that's 50 plus 10 is 60 you could have uh oh wait no that's just 10 times 10 times no it's 10 plus each of these right 
I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a total of 50. But you could have a total of 50 hope per day for one person. But that also costs 8 fruits per day. Which is kind of expensive. Alright. We'll stick with the festivals. I think we're pretty good with those. What else should we go for? There's the warehouse, and I don't know what this is. Kind of curious just to find out. I haven't unlocked this yet. Cutting the forest and moving mountains, I believe. We don't really need to do that. We're doing fine. I don't need a warehouse, but I'm curious what's behind it. Uh, as far as education is concerned, we could research this thing for better research and health, but we're doing very well on health, and I don't feel we really need to research anything, to be honest. Spending 400 research on this to get better research doesn't make sense. We could research anything we wanted anyhow. Maybe go for bricks, and then we can start upgrading things to buildings that use bricks. The fine tailor? Maybe we would use that. Requires a fabric maker within two, and requires leisure within two. City hall and a bungalow. You know, about that actually. So the fine tailor makes us some cloth from fabric. Which we could do. And then over on the heating side, this uses the cloth to make a lot of heat. I don't know that I like it though. I don't think I like the hearth. Yeah, let's just start by getting bricks so that we have them unlocked in case we want to go for brick buildings. But I don't really know which brick buildings we would want to be using. These guys are producing plenty of that stuff. 45 surplus nature, very good. And three days, the season is going to change, I believe. Is that right? No, it's an omen first, and then the season change, and then a danger event. Hmm. That's a very short time for us to build up heat. But we are well on our way, considering we can now make cloaks. Alright, so the festival, that's our new thing. Let's build that. Festival plus two for social buildings within two, plus ten for if there's an active social building within one. Now this is a social building, right? Yeah, the meeting point. So we want to build the festival right here. Unfortunately, that's going to remove the effectiveness of our research place. I think I'm okay with that because we do have, I mean, yeah, we're doing fine research and we can move the druid over here and be just as good. Feels too rebellious, Pips. This does cost us some fabric in order to make the place. And then it would cost us, yeah, the two fancy foods per day. So we're going to need a third baker, I think. Oh, we can move this person back and forth. Like I was originally planning. Although, look at that. Our food is not doing amazingly well. Hmm. We may run into food problems this winter when we can't grow any more carrots. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put this down here. Placing it will disperse the creatures. Yep. And I think I want to plant more carrots. Just to get that stuff stockpiled. Alternatively, we could go for more bakeries. And windmills. Hmm. It might be an idea to do that. Where would we build it? Also, this person producing three... They seemed upset about something. They were previously producing four, is that right? I don't think so. Yeah, there you go. That was two. So we'll put them there, and I may as well just delete this, but we'll leave it for now. It doesn't hurt to leave it there. If I were to put a windmill down here, unfortunately we have a tent in the way, and we have this thing. We could move this thing. We could move the tent, really. In fact, we could just upgrade another... Oh, we would place a tent over here. Oh, but yeah, but we don't want to be removing these animals either. If I were to cut forest down, we could go down to here. There's a big clearing area. What I'm looking for is more efficient flower production. I don't know that we actually need it. But if we just had one windmill here and put another bakery beside it, and then one windmill surrounded by crops, because the windmills gain additional production based on uh, the number of crops, right? Plus one for each crops within one. Uh, because of that we could have a bunch of flour being produced from one windmill. I 
I guess I don't need this. Oh yeah, no, but we want to keep the furnace there. Do we need the furnace here? If we were to remove... Oh yeah, also, that guy's not sick anymore. He's not making any more infusion. Let's make some more healing stuff. Medicine. Hmm. If I remove this, 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 and these rabbits, we could have a windmill right here with a bunch of crops around it. And then we would have a total of three bakers, one in the windmill and uh, four bakers, I guess. One in the windmill and then three bakeries. That's a lot of people we need to rearrange though. I have four druids again? Wait a second, when did this happen? One, two, oh yeah, three, four. I thought I had four and went down to three. Apparently I was at five and went down to four. I think I might do that. Destroy the advanced tools. Dismantle. And I think I have enough places. Yeah, we have enough housing for sure. We'll remove this as well. And this person, you know what? Move over here. This is your new workplace. Okay. That'll be a little bit of a project. But I need to prepare for winter, right? It would really suck to starve. Okay. So those things are now gone. We can disassemble this one as well. We're doing fine on the copper production. If we were having copper issues, I mean, the only things we use copper for are really the nature here, which we have 41 surplus. Oh, there you go. If awake, the domain will generate 35, 15 from difficulty cataclysm per day. Oh, that's good to know. So we would be able to sustain if we can produce 41 and we can even produce 50 if we add someone there. Is this, how, how are we getting 41 here? Oh, from the plants. Yeah, 12 from the elder. So it's not normal that we'd be getting 41. All right, let's put some more plants down and that windmill. We need the cereal processing windmill, put it like that. Yep. And then, do I till the soil? I think we don't need more farmland. We're fine with just carrots right now. So we'll put more carrot fields down and can't put it here. I have to remove the land, I guess. Okay, and then we'll put some more over here. And we should remove this paving. There's no workers available for that, but they'll get to it at some point. And should I just train another baker right now? Probably. Oh, someone's making sounds. What's going on? Oh. I'm glad we have a lot of the fancy herbs. Medicinal herbs, we're doing great on those. I see an unknown event is coming in the sickness domain. So plus 10 per day. We do need somebody working on that. Why did my screen zoom in? Uh, we'll put the doctor in because that's all they do. But they're generating 32 health per day. Incredible. Over here, someone can work on this. And we will put some more carrots over this side. And then, once that's finished being built, we'll be good. The handymen, where are they? Oh, Miba is one of them. There you go. Miba, I would like you to train as a baker. And then we'll put someone else on that. And this should be disassembled as well. Hold on. What can we do? So these two farmers, take them out. One of you disassemble this. And one of you plant this. Actually, there's no rush on planting the carrots because we'll have a lot of them over here anyways. Although these carrots are... Oh, I forgot about that. These carrots are going to be very inefficient. Unless we put more carrots in the corners and then they'll be fine. Yeah, let's just do that. Because... The carrots get a bonus if they're ad adjacent to other crops. Oh no! Oh, the omen. Ouch. Our stuff is on fire. 
Burning fields. Three buildings are burning. Temperature threat increases permanently by one. Oh, we should be able to put the fires out no problem. I have infinite water. That's clear burning. No problem. It takes some people a little bit of work. That would be all right. I can plant the crops over here. That will be good. We have 78 surplus. I can take the doctor out. We should be good. 40, yeah. 40 from the 4 days times 10. That will be fine. I have additional workers available because we didn't go to do that. All right. Oh, I should tell the... Where is the farmer, actually? Oh, he's probably one of the extra workers because his fields are on fire. We're going to get him to gather some more barley because we are starting to run low. <laughs> Having 88 barley is running low in my mind. Okay. Farmer, go do that. And... A third bakery. Okay. Um... Okay, and then I was going to plant some more crops. Put them over here. We're still doing very well on nature. I wonder if I should just take these people out and have them do other things. But maybe there's not a whole lot for us to do. Oh! We need cold, according to this. 24 heat from production? Oh shoot, the cloak maker's working. <gasps> well, that should be a good thing, right? We're having the season change for sure. Season change, season event, temperature is bound to change. The event will come in six days. So it's weird that it's so close, but I'm pretty sure that just means we can generate a lot of heat at that time and it will be good. Even though we were generating more heat during the summer. Oops. This is still good. This is doing great. And this is also doing great. 169 surplus nature. Yeah, let's stockpile the copper bars. We might need them at a later time. Um, yeah, let's just plant things. And gather. These are being planted. We can make more leather. Sure, why not? Change this from hope to leather. We don't need the more hope. Make some tools? We could do that. I guess we may as well build the toolsmith, right? Toolsmith, this guy, requires clearing path to a dwelling and requires ingot makers within two. So if we were to build that elsewhere, I mean, I could... Oh, clearing path to a dwelling, right. Ingot maker within two. I guess I'll just take this out. Dismantle that. And somebody else... We'll, we'll build some more bonfires. I just want to make sure that we're okay on heat. I think we will be. But let's build bonfires in random places that are... You know, we, we're not using the territory anyways. Like this. There you go. We'll just have them there in case. They're disassembling that. We have some room over here as well. Anything to repair other than these two shaking buildings? I guess let's repair this. For one stone? Heck no. Never mind. I don't know. I'm not sure what to you. Oh, here we go. We'll plant some of these. We're doing pretty well. It's nice to have a surplus of workers. And we do actually need a fourth baker. I can feel in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Okay. Season event. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Season event in five days. Oh yeah. No, that's still. That's still right. Yeah. So 101 more cold. We're not gonna worry about it. I will train a fourth baker. There you go. And that should sustain us food wise. Mm, seven people available. What do we do with them all? Another farmer. We're not going to have issues keeping up with the barley, though. I don't think we will. 
Because this is only consuming six barley per day. And we can produce eight per day. Or six every two days. Sorry. So it's even better. So then we can swap back and forth between the two and still sustain with the one farmer. Oh, here we go. Festivals here. We can use soft bread. So soft bread. And then we have all these other things that require meat. So we're not using. So soft bread is the one we will use. And that can produce a lot of hope. Only six hope. Wait a second. What does this require? Plus two for social building within two and plus 10 if it act. Oh, right. Active. It requires that we have people working at the meeting point. Okay. That makes this way less good than I thought it was. Dang. What other social buildings are there? Also, what did I just research? The brick paving. That's right. Community here. Social buildings. A relaxing stand is a social building. Only requires one person. Okay. There are not many social buildings around. Let's research the grave and see if this is a social building down here as well. The relaxing stand within one. Where is that? Down here. Well, we're not using this, so we could relocate the, the relaxing stand. Kind of makes me silly for having built this over here, but we couldn't have put it... Yeah, we couldn't have put it next to the relaxing stand anyway. We had stone cutters there. So let's disassemble this. Dismantle this as well. And then we'll rebuild it up here. And that'll be much better. We can have a guy... Like, when then when we need hope... Oh, yeah, we have five people available. Wow. Gather all the carrots, I suppose. No more plums. Oh, work on these bonfires, please. Uh, autumn is arriving very soon, so we'll have someone gathering more herbs. These are not within range. But I can't build any housing closer, so that's too bad. They'll just have to stay outside of range. He's making medicine. The cloak person is not making heat, thank goodness. You know what? I'm just going to put people into the cold thing. There you go. Good enough. What I should have done is moved the baker over to this one and then trained at that one. Oops. That's okay. We have a little bit of inefficiency with our flower production. So what is this? This is a burial, burial site. Action bury holds four dead, produces one for each corpse. One hope for each corpse. Interesting. So it's just, it can naturally produce up to six hope. So it can actually be a good idea to kill your, your pips off. And then bury them. Huh. The burial site is just a better version of a grave. Okay, well, I mean, if we ever have people die for some reason, then we could get it. Mm. What next? The water temple? I mean, it's just a straight-up better version of the water shrine. Sure. Let's get it. We have 59 woods. We're doing fine on that front. And, oh, gather seeds. Yeah. And what else? Just another watcher. Our farmer's working hard. This person is still training for a couple of days. Okay. Oh, I forgot to relocate the stuff. Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this? What is going to happen? Our doctor did good work for a couple of days, and then he's like, All right. I've done my job. Love is in the air. 10% chance of Pips becoming romantic for five days. Whoa. But only for five days. It's a short relationship. I think... Well, let's take people out of something. I guess people have run off to gather carrots. We can remove a few of those. Yeah, let's build ourselves. What was it I just took out? The social building. Relaxing stand. Put it here. That will be important. These guys get 
It's just plus two, right? Yeah, plus two if there is a social building. Okay. You know what I could also do? Hang on. Remove the plans for this. Just delete this one. Two people producing three hope is not a good deal. Let's dismantle that. And then we'll put the relaxing stand there instead. A ninety-one surplus hope. Oh yeah, and I should probably put the doctor in here. That's okay. They can't, there's no rush on that. They can go work there when they have the inclination. Oh, look at all the little hearts in the air. There's even hearts out in the ocean here. What's going on? In places we've never been to. I. Okay, this person's now working in the bakery. That doesn't hurt for us to be making extra flour. Now, the relaxing stand, that can go here. Perfect. And this guy making fabric. Oh! Building is abandoned requires social within one. Oh, right. Okay, we'll have a social within one soon. I forgot about that. Um, four pips available. Put the doctor in there. We're not producing any heat right now. We may as well plant some plants. That should be good. One more person available. Generate some coal, just because I don't like to see the red on this bar. Oh yeah, it would make more sense to put them in the pools. Oops. Hang on, let's take them out. Put them in the pools instead. And... Oh yeah, there you go. Relaxing stand is good to go, so we'll make some fabric. The doctor's working hard. 36 surplus health. I uh, we'll, we'll just put a little bit more health in and then leave it at that. Okay, we have six fabric available. We have nine bandages. Okay. May have gone overboard on those. Do you not have any ointment? We have medicine. Oh, doesn't look like we have ointments. Here, let's have them work on those instead. Yeah. Or infusions, sorry. One more person, generate some cold. There you go. I don't think it matters, but if it does, then I'd rather be safe. We're not using those people for anything important anyways. We have a lot of carrots. Oh, oh, we should be planting barley though. Oops. Alright, it is now autumn. The cold domain is enabled. Seasonal thread is set to two plus year. And I think the shaman's going to tell us about the next event. She sees an unknown event coming upon us. Five days from now, and we need to generate a lot of heat. So let's... It's <laughs> sowing plus 58 for cold. 37 from production. Let's get these guys out of here. Now we should have zero from production. Very good. We'll have a cloak maker up here. We do need to generate a lot more heat, so I'm glad I have some bonfires available. There you go. That will help quite a bit. 33 more heat. We'll get there pretty quickly, I think. Nice. I'm glad we prepared. And it looks like we got more berries from the season change. I thought that only happened in summer, but clearly I was wrong. So I'm quite happy about that. So these carrot guys, I'd rather you harvest the more rare... Oh, there's no plums. Oh, maybe I just never harvested these berries in the first place. Ah. There used to be a berry bush there, but we broke it. There's another bonfire here. Put someone in that. And is the doctor... Is the doctor still working? So I have another available pip. Oh, yeah, the barley. Please plant some barley for us. Thank you. We're a third of the way on the water temple. Oh, also there's a bakery here. Let's let's start working that bakery. Hey, everyone's becoming romantic. Uh, an event is happening. Oh, is that the omen? I actually didn't realize. Uh oh, they're telling spooky stories. 
You guys should do that around the campfire. You'll feel safer. They're distressed now. Oh no. That's okay. We can definitely deal with distressed. Oh, they're superstitious as well. <laughs> Three pips are distressed. Fear threat increases permanently by one. Some pips gain the superstitious quirk. They were telling ghost stories. I'm glad we have the relaxing stand built. A no unknown event coming in the Cataclysm domain. We are getting 39 per round, so that comes out to like 200-ish. We definitely need to make some more nature. 200-ish over five days. So we need to generate a decent amount. Let's get who's doing jobs that they don't need to be doing. These seeds? I think we're fine on seeds. This guy making leather? We don't need more leather right now. Mm, the fire is important. That seed person I'll leave for now, but we might take them out. The berries are nice to have. Oh yeah, also cure distressed people. Uh, this guy's distressed. We don't need the hope. Take the hope out. Cure distress. No watcher available because they're busy watching the fires. Okay. So one person there. Let's look at our ailments here. Distressed, Rapopo, and Vava. Take them out of their jobs. And who's our third? Tila. Tila is not doing anything. Perfect. Here are the three distressed people. I think it's three at a time. Yes, it is. Just the right amount. And then we can plant some seeds here. And, oh yeah, sorry. We need to work on the shrines. One person. How about, who's doing what? Take the person out of the berries for now. Look at the shrine instead, please. And over here, we're doing pretty well with this. Ten more heat. We'll be fine. No problem at all. Somehow we're gaining a lot of hope. 22 from Romantic. Oh my goodness. That is insane. And we have 100 surplus health. Let's take the doctor out for now. We are not going to need more than that. Okay, these little distressed guys are going to be de-stressed. And they gained romantic, too. Something about having a massage made them romantic. I think we're good... Well, we don't need to put them back into hope production. We have 323 surplus. We're gaining more per day. Oh, man. I guess... Oh, yeah. Somebody can go back into watching a fire. But we'll be good. There's actually no need to burn the wood. In fact, take them out. So... We have one surplus heat, and we'll be producing for another couple of days. Oh, the fabric maker. Hang on. That was one of the distressed people, so we'll put them back onto that. This person doesn't need to be making flour. They're making six flour for six barley. This person would be making 18 flour from six barley. Wow. We can plant some of this. Where is our farmer? Should we... Should we train another farmer? Where's our handyman? Uh, Rosa? Rosa? Have you ever considered farming as a profession? Get someone else to gather those medicinal herbs. Gather the berries. We actually would like to have a good stockpile of carrots as well. Oh, did I not put someone in here? Wait, what happened there? Okay, one of you berry people, or carrot people, go make bread instead. Alright. And that should be good enough. So we're good on both of these events. That's nice. Another person... Let's put them on carrots. Yeah. Seems good to me. I don't really see any difficulties coming up. We could upgrade our pools for in preparation for next year. Also, winter is probably going to have some harder... Although, I mean, we, we dealt with this event handily. 
that was as short a time as you could have to deal with the event. And we're, we're not worried about it at all. That one cloak maker is very strong. Oh, we need to talk, Elder. What do you want now? You must have realized by now that things are not as they seem. You tricksters, why are you all doing this? Is this some kind of sick game? Oh, it is more than a little game. We domains. The dooms are of our own invention, of course. But why? It is quite simple. A game of cat and mouse, if you will. We feed on your emotions. We lure villagers to new lands, we play with them, and the cycle continues. What nonsense are you talking about now? Why are you doing this? I have a plan that could help us both. Alright. He just explained the plan. Why is she confused about it? Or he just explained his, uh, his reasoning. I have an available doctor. They're just hanging out. Not really doing anything too important. The farmer here. And one day we want to move a farmer over to the wheat fields, of course. Or the barley fields. We have a lot of hemp. I might replace this field. Hold on. This field here. Let's clear the ruins. I don't have anyone available to do so. But we're good on heat for sure. So this guy stopped burning our wood and clear the ruins there. And then we'll just put down another uh, barley production. Can we plant crops on these cobblestone paths? No, no, no. Because that is tilled soil. Of course not. I have 10 planks available. It's 20 planks per water temple. Wow. It takes some time to upgrade those. Hey, we got a new memory unlock. And there's a person in the forest. Uh oh, it's going to ask if they want... If, uh, they're going to ask to join us. But we're at 30 villagers and the thing said that we get worse events if we have 31. So we're going to kick them away. The village gains 20 fabric. The pip is kicked away. I'm sorry, bud. The cult has brought a pip named Sarah to the village. Should we take them in or should we take all of their belongings and send them away? We are horrible druids. We are uh, non-inclusive druids. That's that's what it is. Kick them away. We'll accept pet cats, but we're not going to accept new people. Sorry, bud. I am only doing that because of the restriction of 30 people. I want to avoid whatever those dangerous events are. Alright, Pip was kicked away. I feel kind of bad about that. But so be it. And this thing is generating 18 still, so it turns out we don't really need to have the crops planted. It just has to be a crop placed beside it. We'll still replant it anyways. The new memory here. Let's have a look at that. Cows. Hey, look at that. Cows, cheese, milk, calf, milking shed, dairy, cow ranch, cow, leatherworks, tannery, milky bakery, herbal dairy. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff with cows. That's cool. I... Uh, okay. Making regular old tools. We have 11 tools around, so we don't need that. Hmm. Still generating a ton of hope from our romantic people. We need more heat. Kind of. Not really. 21 from this. What else is making heat? There's three coming from the furnace. Do I have another bonfire? Oh, I have another bonfire one. Okay, let's turn that off. They'll generate enough heat as is. Actually, when is the next event? What do we have? There's a doom event with the... Oh, in the cataclysm domain. That's not good for us. Hmm. There's an omen coming up in the sickness domain as well. Yeah, this is the one dangerous one here. We won't have time to build up a surplus. Huh. I'm going to plant the barley field like I said I would. And take one of our farmers to put them on this instead. In fact, I think I might even... Well, we'll harvest the hemp here and then probably replace the hemp with more barley. Because we have all these random hemp fields out in the wild. So that should be plenty for us anyways. Do I build another water temple? Or not water temple, water shrine. We don't have enough time for the water temple to get researched. Burial. We'll be under nature here. 
water shrine, 30 wood, and 6 rocks. We can absolutely afford it. Let's do that, and then I might repurpose one of our thinkers, one of our druids, into another fisherman for the water temple. Okay. We do still have the greater altar for another plus 9, which is nice. But, yeah, I think the doom might be a little bit of a challenge. We're probably not going to be at 100% for it. Uh, okay. We got more romantic people. There's just something about nature that makes us all very loving. Oh, new animals. Well, so be it. Order's Lair appears on 10 terrains. Oh my goodness. Does that mean... Hang on. Does that mean there are better places for our thinkers? One, two, three, right there. Doesn't look like it. I mean, this thing's pretty surrounded. These two were always pretty surrounded. So nothing changed there either. You know, this thing's been destroyed. Um, let's put a thinking post. Ah, no, there's only two next to it. That doesn't help much. Hmm. We could put Thinker right here. One, two, three. Or a Thinker out here. One, two. Why, why would I do that? Yeah, let's put a Thinking Post right here. Just to improve our research by one. Uh, where is that even? Thinking. Here we go. Totemic Temple. I know there's the school, but it's just more work. More hassle than it's worth, I think. We'd have to train people in those and so on. So we'll put this here. That'll give us five research. This is two. Oh, this is a double animal tile. So it does work that way. That's so cool. All right, five research from this one spot. Very worth. And one of our thinkers will be moving there. And then another one, I think we'll just be removing the other one and train them as a fisherman. Once that place is up and running. Uh, two more people available to work. We have 142 on carrots, so there's no real concern there. Hmm. Oh, the nature. 47 more nature. Let's get somebody working that right away. Okay. Well, they're harvesting a lot of carrots over here, too. We are running out of space for bread, so I should switch over to soft bread for a little bit. Yeah, I like this idea of having two windmills. One for the bakeries and one for the actual flour production. Uh, one windmill surrounded by crops is very efficient. Oh my goodness! Did the person just die? Deadly sting! Tababa died! Oh no! Sickness threat increases permanently by one. Ah, uh, okay, well I guess we have a reason to build a burial thing. Losing the game. Losing the game? Pips, our friendly villagers, are our greatest resource. If the last pip dies or disappears, the whole village is doomed and my poor heart won't take it anymore. Aw, oh, there's the elder there, giving up. Beware, living in these dark times can be very dangerous. We will need to gather all of our strength and wits to reach the end of our story. Oh no, a pip has died. How unfortunate. Dead pips in the open generate sickness and fear each turn. I think we had a way to deal with the dead, but I can't seem to remember yet. What are you talking about? We already have it researched. Let's build ourselves a grave. Where should we bury our beloved pip? Beware, a doom event is coming soon. It is... Oh boy. 94 nature and it's generating 54 per turn. This is going to be rough. Yikes. Uh, yeah, we can't even get that to a positive number. We're just going to be sitting around 50% chance of getting at a good event. Scary. We have eight days to deal with it. Well, let's... Okay, first, let's get ourselves a grave. I don't know where the graves are, actually. Burial. Grave. Let's put that somewhere out of the way where they can still visit. 
I guess we can put it amongst all the houses. Hang on. Actually, before we do that, before we decide on that, I want to build some nature shrines. Nature, large altar, greater altar. If we build a couple of these, we can start generating some more. It takes four days to build, though. That's half the time, but it'll help. Let's build a few of these. We can only build two of them right now, unfortunately. But this is a good spot because there are two sets of trees beside it. So one goes down there. We need some more workers as well. Just pull back on the carrots, guys. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Greater altar. I guess we could build some of the regular altars too. Hang on. Actually, how much does a greater altar actually produce? Because maybe it's not even worth doing compared to a large altar. Large altar takes three days, turns two food into two hope, plus two. So four hope. Four hope per day. This thing generates seven hope per day for three food, but it takes an extra day to get going. So if we build this four days, oh yeah, we have to train them. See, that's the thing is we have to train somebody for the greater altar. We don't have to train someone for the large altar. So remove these plants. In the short term, we definitely just want to use the large altar because with the greater altar, we wouldn't even have somebody actually working uh, soon enough for it to be useful. So we'll do that and one here and another two spot I guess remove these four okay there you go so three of the, those are going down it doesn't cost us a whole lot so we can certainly put more in the empty flat areas and then later on we might upgrade these ones to greater altars for the future I could actually take out this one dwelling oh we were going to put I was going to put the toolsmith here perhaps so I would want to keep that dwelling. I could even put the toolsmith there and then just path to it. Because it just had to have a pathing to a dwelling. It doesn't actually have to be next to a dwelling. We have enough homes. Yeah, we have enough homes. Let's disassemble this. Dismantle. So we can put another shrine there. And we'll just build a couple more shrines and willy-nilly spots. So like this and this. We don't have enough workers right now. We'll take more workers out of other things. Alright, it doesn't hurt to build those ones. I should keep the cloth going. Should keep the thinking going as well. This guy doesn't need to be infusing stuff, so please go build that. And who else? The doctor's roaming around doing not much useful. This person's disassembling this. Can we take them out of the production here? Oh yeah, take the guy out of the mines for sure, because he's actually adding to the problem. Of course. Not enough wood. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. We'll build that one instead. And one's being built down there. Is that it? Okay. Um, Let's put it here. Yeah, let's put it here, I guess. Alright, and that's all we can do in terms of wood. Getting the water temple research is not going to save us, unfortunately. You know what? Ooh. Once it is researched, it only takes... Because that's five days to build. Hang on. If that's five days to build, and the water shrine is four days to build, does it only take one day to upgrade? If so, then it would actually be very worth upgrading. But it takes a lot of planks. Planks and stone, that's right. We have the stone, we don't have the planks, unfortunately. It would take five days to get those planks. Alright, we're sticking with what we have. I can also generate more hope by planting stuff, so we'll do that as well, of course. Not hope. Did I say hope? More nature by planting stuff. 20 surplus heat, so we're doing fine on the heat, that's good. Uh, 35 from the threat, 15 from the doom, and that's that. We have 29 happening here, we have 9 happening here, so 38, that maths out. And soon we'll have 4 more from a few different shrines. Each. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Actually, you know what, even with the shrines that we're building here, we'll be getting 16 per day. So that on its own is actually pretty good. The problem is it takes four days to build. Yeah. All right. So be it. 
Uh, we might actually make use of what I was saying earlier about just planting a bunch of random crops. We have some empty places that we could put them in. Actually, not a whole lot. <laughs> we seem to have filled them with shrines. Hmm. Alright. Uh, oh, sorry. No, keep them there. I didn't mean to click on that. This person is still building. Oh, yeah, that shrine. We'll have to train another fisherman for that, though. Uh, but that's certainly going to help. I think what I'll do is cancel the construction of these and just plant crops. Okay. And who else can we grab to do that? We're doing fine on heat, right? 44 surplus heat, although that could turn around pretty quickly. Surplus hope, all coming from the romantics. That's incredible. 453 surplus hope. Do we need the bread? Not so much. We're actually maxing out on bread. I would like to change it to soft bread, but we're also doing fine on that as well. So let's do it like this instead. One, two, and somebody plant crops up here as well, please. We have some crops to plant here. Who can I take out of what? Oh, and I guess we need to make another baby. After turning that guy away, it turns out we need more villagers. Oh, speaking of which, I need to build that burial thing. Who is not busy? We're doing okay on flour. Doing okay on flour. I need to get this thing built, so let's do that. Um, sorry, it would be housing, burial, and a grave. That's going to take up one of our empty spaces. This empty space looks fine. Actually, let's put it right next to our... Oh, no. There are rabbits there. Put the grave in the corner of the cobblestone path. There, there you go. We'll bury them under the road. Uh, I wanted to plant this here. Hmm. Oh, fabric's not being produced? It takes a couple of days to produce it. Oh. I didn't realize. Let's take this guy out and just have him do some planting for today, and then we'll put him back tomorrow. Alright. Alright. Yeah, all that planting is going to help us. And we got 187 out of 187 on the water temple. Perfect. In fact... Is it reasonable to say, let's... Oh, no, no, that's right. I don't have the planks. I was going to say, is it reasonable to say, let's uh, upgrade that boat? We can't. So somebody is going to do the burying. Hurry. Good. So that should be nice. And... That's about all we can do in terms of nature stuff. What else? Learn to cut down the trees. Yeah, let's do that. Cut forest. Alright, so we have a lot of people available. Still building these shrines. Here, some of them can plant stuff, of course. Oh, don't know what happened there, but it opened another screen. Is this being done? Oh, it's not being done. Oh. You know what, I'm going to tell them not to bother. Move plants. We'll plant some barley there instead. Barley field, go. And this one can be replanted. I think we had more open spots, right? There's an open spot right there. Yeah. One there, one here. I think that might be it. Oh, that's an empty spot. Oh, we can remove the plans for that dwelling. Hang on, so one, two... If we remove this dwelling, then we can plant some more. Actually, you know what? Instead of planting that today, remove this, so that we have the space for another one tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the last day we can plant things to gain more nature for this event. Oh, a fisherman, right. Hang on. Train. Takes two days. No handyman. 
I'm going to remove a druid. We do not need the druids. Oh, these are two good spots for druids. Ah, oh, dang it. Four from this one. This is another druid here. Four and four. We have good druid spots. <laughs> Feels. Why does it keep opening the... Oh, I'm probably clicking on the lumberjack over here. Uh, what jobs do we not need? Farmers are important. Healer. Six watchers? That overkill? That's three pools, though. I think we need the watchers. We'll need them for the summertime. Four millers. Wait a second. We have five millers? Why do we have five? Should only be four, right? One, two, three, and then the windmill. One, two. How did that happen? So here's a miller. It says we have five of them. One miller in this windmill here. Apparently it's not very efficient. I guess the plants need to be grown. I'm confused. Okay. And we have one miller here, one miller here, so that's three millers. And it's telling me that there's two more. One is Kaffa. Kaffa is planting stuff. Where is our fifth miller? Oh! One of them is working at a shrine. Well, how did that happen? Okay. Roa, you like working at shrines? You are going to be untrained. You're no longer miller. You are now a fisherman. And then we'll put someone else to work in the shrine. That's a surprise. Should I take out... Uh, we need to keep the baker, I think. This baker's not as necessary. I'm assuming that for a bourgeois. We would use the soft bread for making our, um... More hope. At the festivals. I don't know if the festival's really worth it, though. It might be. Alright. People are whistling. Oh, something happening here? Looks like it. So we actually have quite a bit of copper ore. 112. You know, I guess we don't need the copper bars though. Generating heat. I was just thinking like, what if I had another furnace? That's fine. We're fine. Uh, tomorrow they'll start working there. We can plant, plant some crops here, plant some crops over here. And that's not empty. Oh, there's an empty spot right there. Wait, right here as well? Oh, nice. Okay. And yeah, so today is the last day to plant crops. Uh, oh, empty spots are right there. How did I miss those? I do have plans to build something here, but right now we're not going to worry about that. The carrots are easily uprooted. Farmer, one working on the barley. Oh, we have more plants to crop right uh, Crops to plant right here. I would normally clear the ruins there and put more barley in, but uh, we just want to get the four nature. Every bit's going to be important. Yeah, it's a 50-50. Might end up with a bad event happening regardless. I have 22 wood, so not much to work with. Hmm. Our one free person is the doctor, I imagine. 42 surplus health. You know what? I'm... I am now fearful events of events, so let's try and get some more. Oh, actually, I take... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, let's keep that person there. That'll be it. Okay. Tomorrow we'll start making some heat with the cloak maker.
I'm doing great on hope and stuff, though. <laughs> it's interesting that we've gotten so much positive stuff for producing hope, and we've barely had any events in it. Uh, we are planting that just because we do want to have the barley, but it's not going to help us with the event, unfortunately. Get the cloakmaker going again, though. And oh, I missed, I missed a field over here. Dang it! All right, remove those plans. Whoopsie daisy. This person's turning carrots into nature. So we're now at plus 72. That's a good thing. We have four days at plus 72. You know what? We might be good because on the last day, last couple of days, we're going to be getting a good boost from all the plants. We might be fine here. We're already at 60%. And we have three more days of 72. Or 68 at least. Look at this guy. 13 for one carrot. That's pretty good. I like how that works. So, given that is somewhat handled, we can get the bakers going again. This baker is going to work on soft bread for a little while. Let's we'll switch them back over to hard bread when um, when we need to. I'm not going to produce more copper. We can produce more heat. I don't have any more thinkers. We have a lot of people available. Okay, make some more infusion. I'm doing okay on medicine. I guess we could make some more medicine too. All right. Gather some of these carrots. Oh, are you sure? I still have another idle pip. I just assumed that was the doctor, but I can gather from here. Oh, I know what happened with the windmill. And the windmill was giving us 18 because it was windy, I bet. The love in the air, love is in the air event was probably causing wind, so we were getting times through production. Okay. Uh, I see the fisherman down here. It looks like other people are going to join him. What are you guys up to? Oh, stew. They invented a new meal? Nice. Two of it. All right. Well done. Nobody's going to eat that. It's going to sit in the storehouse for ages. Um, one person available to work. We have 138 surplus health. I'm actually going to stop making the infusion. Just make some medicine instead. No herbalist available. Did I not? I just do. Oh, this is the herbalist. Yeah, yeah. The herbalist is busy. That's right. So keep going with the infusion because you don't you're not the person that makes that stuff anyway. Oh, we had a clearing here. Yeah, whatever. And so we're at 74%. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Plus 84 now from all the plants. Okay. Well, I'm feeling way better about this now. Maybe we'll get some seeds in case we need to plant a lot more. Farmer available. Stenomi, if you could come over here, please. Those are being planted. And where's our other farmer? So Stenomi and Rose is working the shrine. Does somebody else do that? Take this person out of the carrot gathering. Get Rosa to go over there and gather that instead. Someone else can take care of the shrine for you. All right, we're good. We're good. Look at that. The druid effect came in clutch. I wonder if we're getting so much extra cataclysm because we're a druid though. Because we're the shaman. I don't feel it was that bad before when we were playing as Matus. With Matus we had a lot of fear events. Hmm. You gained two copper ore. The lucky one. Thanks Bagolba. You gained the lucky quirk. Alright, so there's everything's still going well. Plus 96. We're gonna have 18 surplus nature. Incredible. Well, that's very good news. Uh, 
I have something for you. You better not mess with me. Oh, I am always serious. I propose a pact. You see, there is some power struggle among us domains. What nonsense are you spouting now? Why are you doing this? Give me your strength and the village will be spared. Think about it. Um, I, I don't know. Do we want to? We're fighting them off pretty well. I mean, I, I know we just had a scary moment against this guy, but other than him, pretty okay. The Domain makes an offer. It wants to make a pact with you in exchange for more power. Will you trust it? Doubt the Domain. All buildings become efficient for five days. That's pretty incredible. The Domain will be angered. Trust the Domain. Production of nature increases by 25%. I mean, that's our one weak area, right? You have a debt with the Domain. I don't know what a debt with the domain means, but do we want to anger the Cataclysm domain, which we're having some issue dealing with, or do we trust them? And this is just a permanent bonus to our nature production. That seems pretty big. Let's do it. I'm going to trust the domain. See what happens. I don't know what having a debt to them means, but... Hopefully it's not too bad. Alright, trust the domain. Production of nature increases by 25%. You have a debt with the domain. Huh. Alright. Well, we should be able to produce a ton of nature now. You have made a wise choice, Elder. Now leave it to me. Do not make me regret this. I mean, it makes sense, right? We're the shaman, we're the druid people. We trust the nature domain. Why not? Alright. I see. An unknown event is coming. Okay. So what do we have on the prophecy now? There is a doom event coming in the fear domain. Right after I was saying that we haven't seen many fear events, we have three of them, with one of them being doom. All right, then. Let's get hope production up and running. We're good in sickness, I think. Um, I, this first, this first uh, fear event is going to be not... A problem we have like 400 surplus omen is coming with this guy and then two events season change is coming and that'll be winter we are able to produce a lot of heat so i'm not too worried about that one hmm 29 pips you know i'm going to tell them to stop gathering the carrots right now we'll actually plant some 89 oh hold on uh, I have minus three on the copper bars. Let's keep them doing that for a little bit. We'll have nine surplus nature. We'll just do that for a couple more days and then we can take them off of it. And when we need nature, then we like super boost with all three of these at once. I'm not against the idea of getting more planks as well. Hold on, which year are we in? Is this the last? I think this is the last uh, doom thing. Last scroll of prophecy. Unless we are in... Oh, no, no. Okay. We're in number seven. So we don't know what the major doom will be. Hmm. It's pretty incredible. 85 from production. Well, I guess we can stop gathering so many... Like, we don't need to have all these guys in the shrines anymore. So let's take them out. It's now 69 from these guys. Well, 65 from these guys, it seems. And the guy up in the corner. Okay. We'll take the guy up in the corner out as well. You can go make some more medicine. I don't think... Well, 213 surplus health. We're fine here, so let's take the doctor out so we're not consuming it. The heat, we're doing well on that. I hope we're doing great on that. Uh, yeah, let's make a kid to replace the one we lost. Oh, do you have to have someone working here to produce the hope? That's not very good. Okay. Well, it's a thing. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, hope. So this thing generates six hope for two bread. These guys generate six hope for free. I don't understand why we would want this. The festival, plus ten if it... Oh, yeah, if active. Sorry, that's, that's the difference. Is we put someone in here, and now it produces sixteen, which is pretty massive. 
We don't need them doing that right now though, but we'll have that in our back pocket. So we can produce 16 and 12 is 28, which is not bad, but I think we should get a little more going. I could build more performers. 16, if you think about it, two people producing 16 is better than two people producing 12 from performers. It does cost us soft bread, but that's also very easy for us to make. And it only requires one person being trained as a blade master or whatever. So, uh, I think... Oh yeah, the water temple, we need the planks for that. I think what we'll do is build another relaxing stand. Oh wait! Actually, just replace these performers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dismantle these two and put performance stalls there. Oh wow, I don't know why they didn't come to mind until just this moment. Um, performer stall. Wait, not the performer stall. The festival. Festival. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so good. It does use up some of our fabric. I would like to boost the production of fabric. Because it's only producing two per day. We're using up a lot for the heat, and then we'll be using a bunch for the hope as well. And we'll be in the middle of winter. So I should build another fabric production place. Crafts. Clothing. Cloth maker. Oh yeah, it requires social within one. Oh no, that's tough. We can do it. This tool maker, we don't need him. Ten tools, we're never going to use them all. Let's dismantle this. And then we'll put... Well, I could put a social here and then another cloth maker. Just to have them next to each other. I could put them elsewhere as well, but let's do it like that. So social... And this social, we'll put... We'll just put a meeting point. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to be using it for the social. Alright. And the doctor's free. That's fine. 